What should you pay attention to when buying a Chinese excavator? We are a manufacturer of small excavators in China, exporting around 500 units per month. In this video, we'll show you what to look for when purchasing a small excavator. This is the 1.8 model mini excavator with a weight of around 1.4 tons. First, let's look at the thickness of the hydraulic cylinders. Some are 7 to 8 centimeters, while others are 9 to 10 centimeters. The thickness of the cylinder determines the digging force. Thicker cylinders provide stronger digging power. Next, let's check the hydraulic hoses. These hoses should come with protective wrapping. Without it, the hoses are exposed and prone to damage. The hoses on this machine are well protected, offering excellent durability. Here is a shut-off valve. And this is the grapple attachment. It has a width of 15 centimeters. Now let's look at the bucket. It looks about 40 centimeters wide, but it's actually 38 centimeters, not too far off. This mini excavator uses mechanical operation, comes with an auto pressure relief function, and the pressure source is located here. At the front, there's a dozer blade. Let's measure the width. It's 1.1 meters wide, matching the machine body. So the overall width of this machine is 1.1 meters. Let's take a look at the boom. The boom is 1.56 meters long. and the arm is 1 meter, giving a total reach of 2.56 meters. That means the maximum digging depth is about 2 meters. Here is the grease injection port. It operates smoothly, protects the hydraulic cylinder, and extends its lifespan. Now the undercarriage. It features an integrated stamp design, providing strong durability and a solid feel. The cooling system is efficient, thanks to the built-in fan. Here's a small compartment, where you can put a cup or some small items, Quite convenient. The seat can be lifted. Let's open it and take a look. Underneath are two pads for added stability. What kind of engine does it use? It's powered by a Kubota engine. A brand widely trusted for its powerful performance. Inside, you'll also find the oil filter, fuel filter, diesel filter, and alternator. This is the hydraulic oil gauge, perhaps not the most stylish design, but functional. One very important feature. The boom has a side swing function. Here's another grease injection port. When choosing a mini excavator, you should always check the thickness of the steel plates. That's very important, especially since this machine is powerful enough for tasks like farm soil pushing 
trenching, demolition, and log grabbing. Let's count, it has 6 hydraulic hoses, and 3 cylinders with an and out flow. Delivering strong power. Here's the work light with its own switch, along with the ignition key and throttle. How wide are the tracks? Let's measure. 18 centimeters wide. Finally, let's give it a test run. The operation is smooth and responsive, and you can feel the strong power. In my opinion, it performs very well. What do you think about this mini excavator? Tovazen.